Hello. In this video, you will learn about different Yoruba foods. The first thing to know is that Yoruba people love spices. So be prepared to take your tongue on a hot, yummy journey. We have a lot of traditional delicacies that include soup, stew, grain, and a lot of food commonly described as swallows. Some food are eaten with spoons or forks, while majority of the cultural foods are eaten by hand, usually the right hand. As explained in the first video of this series, six states in Nigeria formed the Yoruba community, and these states we all have different regional delicacies. In fact, you may tell which of these states a Yoruba person is from, based on their favorite meal. When you visit a family, the Yoruba culture mandates that you are offered water and food. To show that you are pleased with them, you should take a sip from the water offered, even if you do not intend to eat the food. It is polite to accept the food. However, you can also politely reject it by saying, Eshe Motiyo, which means, thank you, I am full. Try it. Eshe Motiyo. Eshe Motiyo. When serving an elderly person, you must bow to show respect. In fact, a female can kneel in the process of placing the food in front of the elder. Never use your left hand to pass water or cutlery or food to anyone, whether young or old. Likewise, never collect food or water from anyone with your left hand. It is considered disrespectful and immoral. When eaten, the Yoruba take etiquette seriously. Eating etiquette is seen as a reflection of the proper training and grooming your parents gave you. Most Yoruba traditional foods are eaten with the hand, except for some like rice and other modern food, which are eaten with a spoon. Never eat with your left hand. The left hand is considered dirty because it is the hand you clean up with. In addition to eating with your right hand, do not lick your fingers excessively and too often while eating, no matter how delicious the meal is. You can lick your finger and even the plate at the end of the meal. By then, it will not be seen as lack of proper eating etiquette, but as an attestation that the meal was very delicious. Also, do not rush to finish the protein, that is, the meat or fish on your food at the start of your meal. You are meant to eat them gradually till the end of your meal. Now, let's explore the Yoruba food that are commonly described as swallows. They are called swallows because we eat them in morsels by cutting them into sizes easy for us to swallow at once. Swallows are carbohydrate and so are always paired with tasty stew containing protein and other nutrients. Amala is made with yam or plantain flour. The flour is added to boiling water and mixed to form a sort of thick but soft dough. Amala. Amala. Traditionally, inyo is made with cooked yam. The yam is pounded in a mortar and pesto into a sort of thick but soft dough. This is why it is called pounded yam in English. Contemporary inyo are also made with yam flour, which is mixed with hot water. Inyo. Inyo. Eba is made from cassava. It is added to boiling water and mixed into a soft, thick dough. Eba. Eba. Now, let's explore the different stews you can pair these swallows with. A foyo is made with green leafy vegetables, fried with habanero and bell peppers. It is garnished with assorted meat like beef, tripe, smoked fish, cow skin, crayfish, and many more. It goes with any swallow. A foyo. A foyo. Ewedu is jute leaves. It is shredded and boiled in water. It can be seasoned to taste. Ewedu. Ewedu. Begu is made with ground beans. It's usually served with ewedu and plain stew. It goes best with amala. Begiwi. Begiwi. Ila is called okra in English. The okra is shredded and boiled. It is served with plain stew and goes with any swallow. Ila. Ila. Omiobe is plain stew made with blended habanero, tomato, bell pepper, and onion. It can be garnished with garlic and ginger. 
It can be served with a wedu or begiri or ila to eat any swallow of your choice. It can also be served with white rice. Omiobe. Omiobe. The stews usually contain goat meat, cow meat, different types of fish like tilapia, mackerel, egg fish, etc. Be sure to taste and enjoy every one of the swallows and stews. In addition to swallows and stews, the Yoruba have other delicious meals. Ogi. Ogi. Ogi is a breakfast meal made with fermented corn. Depending on the corn used, it can be white, yellow, or orange in color. The fermented corn is added to boiling water and mixed into a puree. It can be sweetened with sugar or honey. You can also add milk to it. Usually paired with ogi is akara. 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 Akara is made with ground beans. The ground beans are mixed in little water into a puree and seasoned with salt or any spice of one's choice to taste. The mix is then fried in hot vegetable oil into small balls. Moi moi. Moi moi. Moi moi is an alternative to akara. Instead of frying the mix in oil, the mix is poured into an airtight container or molded in a leaf and cooked in a boiling water. Chunks of boiled fish and egg can be added to it to add to its flavor and nutrients. You can pair both moi moi and akara with pap or pair them with bread. Rice is another popular food among the Yoruba people. It can be made into jollof rice, fried rice, or plain white rice. Nigerian jollof has been argued to be the best jollof rice in Africa. For the sake of length, we will stop here. Yoruba delicacies are numerous, and I hope you will take your time to explore and enjoy many of them as possible during your visits. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and are looking forward to tasting the numerous Yoruba delicacies. We'll see you in the next video. Odabo. Odabo.